today's video I am going to tie a fly with some stuff I found at Hobby Lobby. It is called For the Moment, and this one is a chocolate brown. It's kind of like a variegated, almost like grizzly hackle looking stuff. But anyhow, it is bee yarn for the moment. It's $5.99 for 62 yards. And this stuff is pretty awesome. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tie basically like a traditional zonker just with this material. And you can see it has a lot of the same characteristics. It just doesn't have the leather hide of it. So I'm going to show you guys how I've tied this and how I've used it. It works great. And there's some several methods that you can do with this. But I'm going to show you the way I've been doing it. I've got a number eight hook, which is just a streamer hook. And I've got some tan tying thread. And I'm going to tie just a little bit of a base on. Now here is where you can make this thing different. If you want it to sink really, really fast, this is not as heavy as the leather. So you can lead wrap the base of your hook or you can put a cone head on your hook if you need to. But I want mine to have a very slow sink rate. So I am going to just leave mine natural. So what I've got is a little piece of the yarn that I have cut off. I'm going to tie that into the base and I don't care how furry this thing gets because I kind of want a little bit of a body build up on it anyhow. And I'm going to tie my tying thread back right to where the curve of the hook starts. I'm going to tie that in pretty good. And bring my base back up. And then I don't want it real, real, real long so I'm going to cut it about an inch and a half off the back. Then I'm going to take another piece I am going to cut that I had that kind of tangled up so I'm going to cut that what I'm going to do is I am going to tie this in and bring it all the way back to where I stopped my thread on the first time and then bring my thread forward and then I am going to wrap this very similar to how I would wrap hackle. And build a pretty good little body on it. I'm lose my whip finisher in the process. When I get that tied to the front, I'm gonna bring my string off, my tying thread, then I'm going to tie that in and I'm going to cut the remainder that I have off. Then I'm going to pull this back and basically tie in a little bit of a head to where it's kind of pointing towards the rear. And I think it represents a mouse pretty good. So if you wanted to glue some eyes in, you could. If you wanted to make it with some dumbbell eyes, you could easily do that as well and make it to where it appears as a mouse. I took it out on my pond just to see how effective it would be, and the bass really liked it. Uh, I didn't have very many casts where I didn't have a hit with it, so I think it will be super effective. Um, my bass are pretty finicky, so they don't just hit on everything I throw at them, and they were just fine with this fly, so I think it's going to be something that's very successful. It's pretty durable. I didn't have a lot of problems with it getting tore up or anything. I'm going to trim some of that around. And then I just pull it towards the back just as such. Whatever you use for head cement. I always just get fingernail polish just because I don't live anywhere near a fly tying shop and I go through so much of it that I can't keep up so I just go buy fingernail polish. When I put it on there I put that on there pretty thick so I want to come back through and clean out my the eye of the hook to where I can have it in there later and that is all there is to this fly. It is a super effective little guy and I like to throw it off the bank to where it looks like a mouse falling in the water and it does great. Uh, I mean, it's got lots of action when it gets wet. It all pulls back and has the body very similar of a mouse and that's kind of how I fish it. It is just as a sinking mouse pattern and 
several casts, several bites, no issues with it. I uh, reeled some fish in, no issues. It's super durable. This is the cheapest mouse fly, easiest mouse fly. I think you could tie it very similar to a, a zonker fly and all made out of this cheap material. You can 62 yards, so you should be able to tie 150 of these things out of one of those. Pretty simple. And you've seen how fast it was. Super, super simple fly. Super effective with the bass that I've tested it on. So just going to share the material with you and let you guys see what I've got going on. So hope this helps.